everybody, welcome back. Today I've got another collective haul. I've been buying bits here and there and then suddenly it became this mountain of things. So yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to start with makeup and skincare first. I went to Sephora and I bought a few things. So this is the bag. The first item I've got is this Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. It says it's an enzymatic dermal resurfacer. 3-in-1 Intensive Skin Resurfacer Mask Exfoliates with Pumpkin Enzyme Peels with Alpha Hydroxic Acid Polishes with Aluminium Oxide Reveals Smoother, Younger Looking Radiant and Revitalized Skin I do think it works. I bought this about 3 weeks ago so I've used it um, 3 times including today and yeah, it does really you know, make your skin smoother. It has a gel-like consistency, so when you put it on your skin, it feels like just putting on a moisturizer. And it doesn't have any kind of offensive smell, if vanilla -y, caramel kind of smell. And I think maybe that comes from the pumpkin. It also has very soft, kind of like beads, so when you wash your face, it does do a little bit of a scrub. It says that you're supposed to put it on your skin three to seven minutes only. And the first couple of times that I did, use it, I followed the instructions, so after about 7 minutes, I washed it off. A very slight tingly sensation and my skin was really smooth. But on the third time, I totally forgot. I had it on my face and I left it on for almost 20 minutes. And oh my gosh, my face was so red. I was like, oh, nothing bad. I felt like it over exfoliate, so it's pretty strong. If you have sensitive skin, gotta be really careful with it even I might not even recommend it if you've got sen sensitive skin but if you don't I think it's a pretty good uh, dermal resurfacer so I got the Becca ombre rouge eye palette and I've been looking at this for a pretty long time I finally caved and I bought it because I don't know I, I kept looking at another youtuber um, her eyes always look so fantastic and I like the way it's very simple and elegant so it has five shades I'm using it today. I've got this all over my eyelid and then this in my crease, the third shade in my crease and these two colours mixed in just for the corner and yeah, I like the way the look came out. I've got some eyeliner on and really easy. All I used was one crease brush and that, that was it. I just used it all. If you're super lazy like me, I think this is a good addition to your collection. I mean, I love eye makeup. I always want to experiment but always in the mornings, I don't have time so I was really surprised that I just you know buffed it without much thought to it, just like do -do 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 -do, and it was done. So I bought two lipsticks from the Urban Decay Vice collection. I have been avoiding that collection every time I go to Sephora because the first time I saw the display, it was extremely overwhelming. It's like so many lipsticks, so many shades, so many finishes, it's just like oh, too much. But I did try one of the colours. So this is the colour that I finally got. It's called Uptight. Comfort Matte. Out of all the finishes, I do really like the Comfort Matte formula. I've got one of them on today, but this color, it was out of stock for so long and when it finally got back, I said, okay, fine, buy it. This is the color. Let's see if I can swatch it. Yeah, so it's, um, it's kind of like a brownie, orange, peach matte color and you know it really looks like your lips but better but you know kind of like nudes that don't make you look dead so it has a warm undertone and because of the brown orange color it really complements well for me it really complements my skin color so I, I finally got this and it was out of stock for a while so I'm pretty sure this is a quite a popular color the other color that I've got is what I've got on my lips today this is the color temper it is a little bit on the orangey side. I don't really like oranges because I find that orange makes my teeth look yellow but this orange, I think it, yeah, it makes my teeth look a little bit whiter than usual and it's not like red red but and it's not orange so it's like a in between the two. I really really like this. See? Has a bit of orange in it but the red also stands out and it's because of this lipstick I bought other lipsticks which I'll show later with this orange color with it as well. Ugh. I wanted to try a new concealer and this is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I heard a lot of reviews about it obviously from YouTube and now the one that's going about is the Tarte Shape Tape or something but it's not launched in uh, Malaysia or Singapore yet. So okay fine I'll get this one. I just wanted to try a new concealer. They didn't have many shades. I think six. So the color that I've got is in light medium. 
it matches my under eyes and it's because I'm traveling so much I just came back from Vienna and then I've been sick as well so I haven't been getting a lot of sleep plus jet lag my dark circles are like ah. my clay depot does a great job at concealing it but it can get a little bit dry plus you know when you're sick you're like dehydrated so I wanted something like now for the next couple of weeks I think I need something a little bit more moisturizing and this bond this way felt nice at the shop I'm not going to open it right now because I don't want to get it contaminated yet. But let me know if any of you have used this and does it crease? I don't know. You know when you crease and you get all this like ugh. The last thing that I got from Sephora is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Now I'm really looking for something to replace my Tom Ford Eyebrow Pencil which I love but it's so expensive. When this first came out, I was like, no, I hate the packaging. I think it's so gimmicky, silver, and it's like a whole, mm. But when I tried it, I was pretty impressed by the formula, and I really like the tip of this pencil. It's kind of like a teardrop, yeah, teardrop triangle shape. When I used it at the store, when I was trying it on my brows, my brows look fantastic. It stayed on the entire day. I think I had my brow with this pencil, this color, on for almost like eight hours. I, I mean, I was, I wasn't sweating, but I was, you know, I was walking around, I was going around, so I had really good-looking eyebrows for like the whole day. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll try this. So the color that I am using is um, number four. When I don't draw my eyebrows, I actually did embroidery many, many years ago, but that kind of tinted my skin a little bit reddish. So if you ever have done embroidery, you know that when it starts to fade, it fades in this reddish color, kind of like a tattoo but red. So I always have to color my eyebrows and it has to match my you know, hair color. So my hair color is pretty black right now. So I'm going to give this a go. So I stopped by MAC after Sephora and because I was so into this red color, I also bought two more lipsticks. This is the color Chili. And then I also got this new color called Barbecue. I don't know how much reddish orange lipsticks I need, but you know, when, you're, when you see something, you're like, oh, I need them all. So these are the two colors that I got. This one on your left is Chili, and then this is Barbecue. It is more orangey, and Chili is more red. Now, when you mix these two, you actually get this color. And that was what I was trying to look for. I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy Temper. Let's see if I can mix the color. And I went to MAC, and I found these two colors. When I mix them, they are pretty similar. So let me swatch it. So I've got chili swatched here and then uh, barbecue swatched right there. So if you see, if you mix these two, you're, pretty, you're, gonna, get, you're gonna get this color temper. I don't know how they're gonna look like separately because orange does make my teeth look yellow, but maybe I'm gonna use them together. I don't know, I just went on a lipstick craze. I think if you watched one of my previous haul, you know that I actually have the La Mer powder. And I, I'm, I'm okay with that, you know, I think it's a little bit too pricey. But yes, the finish is extremely nice. So I was thinking, okay, you know, I watched Tati's video and she says the La Prairie powder is extremely good and she loves that. So I was at the Changi Airport and I bought it. This is the Cellular Treatment Loose Powder. I wasn't actually going to get it until I saw what was inside. So it comes like that. The first thing that comes out is this loose powder for traveling. It comes with this and it also comes with a bigger one. So you actually get two, one for traveling and one for, I guess, for your vanity. It has 56 grams and this tiny one has 10 grams. So together you get six, about 70 grams. I've got the La Mer one here. Now the La Mer one is only 25 grams. So you get a lot more with the La Prairie and the price at the airport, this was 133 Sing. Now I bought this for a pretty about the same price, 100 plus. So seriously, this is a better buy, you know, in terms of how much you get in it. It comes in three shades, so zero, one, and two, two being the darkest. I took the zero because I'm actually the one I'm actually one, but it was sold out and between zero and one there wasn't much of a difference. When you dust it off, that's it. Seriously, the packaging is amazing. It has a little clip here, you know, you press it in and it opens up, you get a puff. This cap, you can twist and oh, love it. So I tried the baking today using the La Puri powder. Between the La Puri powder and the La Mer powder, I think the La Puri powder does better at the baking. Um, I don't know, it felt more substantial when I put it on, you know, it, the powder is like on your face. 
Whereas the La Mer, I don't know, maybe I don't put enough or something, it flakes off really quickly. And you know the La Mer, it has a fine, very fine glitter, so does the La Paris, but the La Paris one is even more fine, so you actually you don't really see it. I am really enjoying the La Paris powder. It is expensive, but because it gets so much, I don't think I can ever finish it. Oh, and if you're thinking about trying this out, you know, if you're in Malaysia, it's really expensive. I went to the counter, I think it was at Isetan. They were selling it for like 480 ringgit or something, which is extremely a lot because when I bought it at the airport in Changi, it was 130. You convert that over, it's almost a 100 ringgit difference. So if you ever get a chance to go to Singapore, buy this at the airport, so much cheaper. So before I continue on the haul, I just want to tell you about the La Mer. I am using it and I like it, but you know, I have also the Lancome powder. This powder is the Tint Miracle Natural Light Creator Bare Skin Perfector. My color is in, oh my color is in O2. This Lancome one and the La Mer one, to be honest, they are so identical. Like this has glitter, this has glitter. This has really fine glitter and this has really fine glitter. They are like identical. So while I was at Isetan checking out the La Paris powder, I went to the Kose counter and I got a whole bunch of skincare. So I got this entire set plus more. I just don't have hands. This is the Sekise range, I guess. And I was recommended this skincare by my Instagram fan, Shirley. Hello! I was asking her about skincare and she says she's been using this for years. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna try it because you know I'm not faithful to any skincare. So I bought the entire set. I think um, I got the lotion, this Sekisi lotion. This was 275 ringgit. So this is the bottle and this can be used like a toner, but it also can be used like a mask. They gave me this uh, packet. You actually soak a cap full of this lotion. You drop one of these tablets inside so let me show you so this is a tablet of three masks so you take one out you put it into the cap right you put it into the cap you put one in you put the lotion up to one cap and you see the mask just soaks up all the lotion and you use that like a mask so that was quite interesting so i also got the emulsion and this is actually like the like a moisturizer it's really light so let me squeeze some yep very lightweight moisturizer and it doesn't have, yeah, it doesn't really have any kind of smell. I, I like this a lot. So very good for the daytime. And that was what I was looking for, a daytime moisturizer. I'm still using the Suwalsu uh, Ginseng Cream and I'm using that at night only because it is a little bit heavy for the day. I was telling the beautician that you know, I have really dehydrated skin, plus I'm sick, etc. So she recommended me to try this. This is the Moisture Skin Repair Rice Power Extract Advanced High Quality Moisture Care So this is actually supposed to be like a booster for the emulsion So what I'm supposed to do is after my lotion, I put this first so that this, the emulsion will absorb like into my skin It will really get all the nutrients inside I like this, this, is, this reminds me of the SK2 Essence but in a, I don't know, more concentrated. So I also have a travel size one that she's given me. So in fact, I haven't opened any of these big ones because I got a traveling set which has everything. I'm gonna finish all of this first before I start on the actual size. So this is the Rice Power. See, it's like a, it's just, it's just like, a, like a lotion. It's kind of like the SK2 stuff. I like this a lot. So after using this, I put on the emulsion and uh, the only thing that I noticed about this set is that uh, they do use alcohol. Um, one of the top ingredients is alcohol. So uh, if you're sensitive to alcohol, you know, if you've got sensitive skin, I don't really recommend this. But if you don't, you know, it's a great set. I've been using it for the past two weeks. I do feel that my skin has improved. So let me just quickly show you what's inside the uh, traveling set that they gave me. I got a sunblock, which, okay, I'll try it. Made in Japan, no problem. The emulsion, the rice powder. I also got the liquid wash, cleansing oil, and a tiny little lotion. So it's just like a water. Now moving on to the accessories and luxury stuff. Let's go to Chanel. I bought a little something when I was in Kuala Lumpur, KLCC Chanel. I wasn't actually looking to buy anything, but 
this particular necklace, I have something similar already and I, I just really like it so I decided, you know what, I know it's a past season but I got it. So this is kind of like an unboxing because I've been saving to open this up just for this video. So it's still in its beautiful packaging. Let's do it. So I got a necklace from Chanel. This is the one with the double C's and it has the pearls inside. One is a light grey and the other is a dark blue. I really like this. I have heard something similar already but instead of uh, pearls, it comes with the cubic zirconia just like crystals but that one is in light gold. This however is in silver. It's simple and I know it's very similar to the one I have before but yeah whatever I like it. So if you follow me on Instagram you would know that I was in Venice last week. I was there for a work trip. I was there to be a videographer so I had my camera set up and everything to film a, a work event so while I was there I did a little bit of shopping I controlled myself because I am saving up to buy a bag and yeah Ugh. so I got a little something from Dior I wasn't actually thinking about buying anything from Dior I just walked in and I saw this and it reminded me so much of another wallet which I will show you so yeah, here we go also like a little unboxing so it comes in a little dust bag and it's just a tiny little wallet I have something very similar which is my Kate Spade I have no idea what's this called this is a little bit bigger um, the Kate Spade is a little bit longer which is also very nice now this one has five card slots two slip pockets and a zip at the top the Dior is exactly the same it has five card slots so it's one two three at the back four five and it also has two slip pockets the only difference is the zip it opens like an L shape Right? So it's easier for you to get your money in. Whereas this is right at the top. So actually they're really similar. The reason I got this is because my Kate Spade is getting pretty beat up. I can't find this anymore. So I wanted something just in case you know, this gets destroyed. Stitching is already coming out a little bit. I'm still using it of course. So when I saw this, I was like, yes! I really like it. Plus, the colour is more more mature, more professional. It's peachy with a little bit of yellow here but the rest of the colour is very subdued, it's very nice. Whereas my Kate Spade is a little bit out there. You know, you got pink, you've got your orange, you got yellow, you got green. So this is a little bit more loud. I like this because it's a softer colour and, and it fits all my cards. Yeah, very nice. I posted a picture on my Instagram showing all these uh, Furla bags and I was like, hmm. I like it. So what happened? I bought two. One's for me and one's for my best friend. I was asking on Instagram which colour do you think I got and for myself, I actually bought... Yeah, I got the white one. I bought the white Furla Metropolis. It is in the mini bag and uh, it comes with silver hardware. So it opens kind of like the Dior. It has... Um, another flap inside which kind of covers your things. So when you open it up, there isn't much inside. There is an in inner pocket. It's lined with a material, I guess cloth. It says it's made in Italy. It wasn't really expensive. It was about 250 euros before tax. Now, I like this piece because firstly, look at the detail on the top. It's so pretty. It's like, I don't know, it's like a Christmassy feeling to it. I love this detail and I always wanted a white bag. I used to have a bigger white bag but my fear of that bag was that it would get dirty. So I, I'm, I always avoid white bags but when I saw this I was like hmm it is quite small you know and I can protect it close to my body. So I said okay you know what I'm gonna get it something cute something small and white because I always wanted another white bag. Now the strap drop, it is a little bit longer than my Chanel Mini. So I'm going to put a clip inside. the same right 
it fits an iPhone 6 Plus you know, easily but without the cover. So I'm going to show you. So this is an iPhone 6 Plus S. So it goes into the groove at the side here. See? It fits. The other cool thing about the bag is that you can take out the strap. So at the side here, you actually push it out and you can use it like a tiny little clutch. So that is really cute. So the strap comes off. It ends with this kind of like a T. So yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I've used it once just to go out and mm, I like it. Let me know if you want me to do a review of this bag. Now the other color that I got is the blue. I bought this for my best friend and it's exactly the same except this is in full calfskin leather. There is no pocket at the back by the way. Um, and this comes in a light gold. So the inside is slightly different. It doesn't have that additional flap like the white. The white does, this doesn't. So it's just, mm, just a basic one. Just exactly the same as my Chanel Mini. So you see there they're pretty much the same. I really like it. For the price, I think Ferla did a good job with this Metropolis. So I got a few things from Pandora. This one I got in Vienna and then the other thing that I bought was actually at the airport because when I saw it I was like, oh so nice. Okay, So the first thing, I always buy something from Pandora to add to my bracelet when I'm overseas just to remind me of that country so when I was in Tokyo I bought the cat so this time when I was in Vienna I bought I got the charm that is the shape of a treble clef and why because Vienna is known for the music Mozart and everything it's going to be a fantastic uh, addition to my collection of on my Pandora charm and I used to play the piano you know, I, yeah, I can play the piano. I haven't played in a long time, so my fingers are like mm, stiff. It means something to me because music was also a big part of my life when I was younger. So the other item that I got from Pandora, and that's the receipt, is this beautiful ring. I, when I saw it in the store, I was just, <gasps> I love it. It's kind of those chunky rings that, you know, we just, all you have to do is just wear it on your hand. That's all you need to, you know, accessorize. Love it. So the flower is called a forget-me-not flower and I really like it on my third finger right in the middle and that's how it looks like. It was about 230 Singapore dollars. I've only got two more things I bought from Vienna and just quickly, uh, I went to this shop called Fry Wiley. Fry, Fry Wiley. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. Fry Willy. Looks like Free Willy. When the first time I saw it, it was Free Willy. It is actually a, kind of like a boutique. Uh, that sells a lot of accessories coming from uh, Vienna. It's really expensive, so all I got just for the memory of it and I wanted something Viennese. I bought a scarf, so it comes like that. It has a silk polishing cloth. It has a booklet which tells you, you know, how to tie scarves, etc. So I like this. I was like, oh my god, I need this. So I got myself a tiny scarf. I don't wear scarves, but you know, we can start. So this is the piece that I got. It has orchids, blue orchids. It also has this, um, I think it are chrysanthemums. Oh, it's so beautiful. I got this because it has various colors. There's a bit of green, a bit of blue, a bit of pink, a bit of yellow. And I'm thinking about tying it at my handbags or even at my neck like this. Let's see. What do y'all think? <laughs> this scarf was 80 euros um, before tax so after tax was maybe 72. I wanted something that's from Vienna just to remember it. I know I've got my Pandora this, I got that, just to remember any excuse to do shopping, right? Now the final thing that I got from Vienna are chocolates and wafers. So I bought a lot of these kind of Mozart chocolates. Can you see Mozart's right there? And Manor wafers. So this thing, I bought so much that my luggage, when I went to Vienna, was 15 kilos. When I came back, it was almost 30 kilos. So I bought so much chocolate. It is heavy. I got it for my office, I got it for my mom, I got it for my friends. It was like, and these wafers are heavy. They're like biscuits, right? The wafer is nice. It's a little bit rich actually, and it's a little bit too sweet for me. But it's a nice snack if you're going to have it with just black coffee. Oh, I have one more item. I know this is going to be a long collective haul, but I've been doing a massive shopping. 
I got a new camera. This is the Sony RX3 and I bought this because I wanted something to use when I was in Vienna. Something with a flip screen so I can do vlogging. I like it, it's nice and I like the fact that it has a pretty quick autofocus. So I did some of my inserts for this video using this camera and it is amazing. I love the, you know, the way it autofocuses so fast. So I was choosing between the Sony or the Canon but apparently Sony is the video master so if you're doing a lot of vlogs, Sony is the one to go for. I'm enjoying it so far. So that's it for my collective haul. I hope this video is not too long. I just wanted to share the little bits that I've been getting here and there. I know there's no particular theme. I'm just showing everything that I bought for the past few weeks. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to talk about any of these items in more detail. I will definitely do it. So everybody take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!